Hi, and welcome to your weekly juice. I'm Louisa Jewell, author of Wire Your Brain for Confidence, The Science of Conquering Self-Doubt. And I am here with my very, very dear friend, Shannon Polly. Uh, I am on my fourth stop of my book tour in Washington, D.C. And Shannon graciously opened up her beautiful home. As you can see, we're in this gorgeous home that she has here. And, uh, and we had many people here last night talking about the book. So it was a great experience. It was and a great thank night. you so much. I'm oh, so it's grateful my pleasure. for you. Well, it's great to have great <clears throat> friends like Shannon. So uh, today, now Shannon really is an expert in the area of giving presentations, delivering presentations, executive presence. She's an expert in many areas. But I wanted to ask her today because so many people, they really have a lot of self-doubt before they have to give a big presentation. It can be yeah. kind of scary. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask Shannon's advice on, you know, Shannon, what do you do if you're really afraid to give a talk and you have to give a talk? Do you have any advice on how to build your confidence before giving a big talk? You know, it's a complicated question and I could probably go on for hours, but if I had to pick three things that would be most helpful, one is tension how do you manage your own tension in your body and part of that is how you think about it so the difference between someone like me who has trained for you know over a decade as a professional actor is that i don't see tension or anxiety as a problem i just see that as normal like oh there's my anxiety hello anxiety welcome come along with me so it's changing the way you think about tension but also managing your tension so breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, exhaling twice as long as you inhale. That's my first tip. The second tip is... Um, no, if, you, if you're wondering who that is in the background, that's Harper. That's right. That's, that's my other little budding, budding actress. Um, the, the second one is intention. And the intention is what do you want your audience to think, feel, or do after you talk. Oh, so okay. you have to strategize what, what impact am I having? So that's intention. And how does that help you build confidence? Cause you're more focused on the outcome rather than yourself. Yes. Okay. Because the third thing is attention. Mm. So the attention, usually when we're anxious, we're focused on ourself. We're turning inward. We're saying, Oh my gosh, is it going to be good? You know, we're ruminating, but if we're focused on the external, the people, then we're not as um, nervous and we're more confident because we're thinking about the impact and you can check in like, how's it going? Am I landing it on them? Is mm -hmm. it working? So there's strategies to build your self mastery, as you mentioned in your book, and it also builds your confidence. Very nice. All right. Thank so you. tension, intention, attention. Right on. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Well, thank you, Shannon. Thank you for sharing that with our audience, with our Weekly Juice audience. And I'm going to be back next week with my Weekly Juice. And in the meantime, go kick somebody. <laughs> <laughs>